Leading our top four at four, police are still investigating a crash involving a school bus yesterday. Nine people were hurt, including six kids on the bus. News 4's Angela Christoforos has been following this story since it broke. She joins us now with the latest. Angela. Christy, fortunately, the six kids involved in the crash only had minor injuries, but a female driver is now in serious condition at ECMC. A narcotics officer also suffered minor injuries. Those who witnessed the crash say it was a scary situation that could have been a lot worse. I looked out the window and I just thought it was weird that I, at the exact moment I saw a white flash car going very fast. A crash that injured several students began around 3.30 yesterday on Y Street when police were executing a search warrant at a residence. Uh, our narcotics team was in the process of arriving to execute a search warrant. They identified that vehicle and uh, attempted to stop the driver in the car. Uh, that's when he uh, proceeded to back into a police car. He struck the officer and he proceeded to pull away. The suspected driver took off, then hit a car near Bailey Ave and Orlando Street before rolling over and striking a school bus from Houghton Academy. Today, the Buffalo Public School District sent a crisis team to the school to talk to students. There are students who are involved. They provide direct counseling supports to those students to help them work through the trauma in which they um, had experience. The crash unfolded outside of the Seneca Babcock Community Center. The executive director says the female driver involved in the crash runs a science program at the center and was parked out front ready to come inside. He says six students on the bus were treated in the center's computer lab by paramedics. Buffalo police say an internal investigation is underway. At this point, it appears as if the pursuit uh, did not violate our internal policy. Charges have not yet been filed against the suspect. He's also at ECMC in stable condition. Live in the studio, Angela Christoforos, News 4 at 4.